right, this whole almost freezing to death every night thing has been super cool, don't get me wrong, but I'm currently wearing four jackets, and I think it's time that I go somewhere warmer. Hi, my name's Blue Jay Walker, and this is my van, Two-Tone Tony. Me and Tony have a great relationship. See, he lets me live wherever I want. Well, I'm about to cross into America, if they let me in. I don't know why they wouldn't. I just always have this feeling that they're not gonna. And in return, I give him as much gas as he desires. And sadly, that is far too much. Look, I'm not one to call out someone for being an alcoholic, but Tony drinks. <laughs> Remember the stack we had yesterday? This is all that's left of it. But with Tony's help, I'm able to be a full-time artist who travels around busking on the street and making weird things like 240-foot poems. I've been slinging jokes on the internet for years now, but I figured it's finally time to show you what my life actually looks like. And right now, it looks frickin' cold. But don't worry, by the end of this video, we are gonna fix that. Hopefully. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> you gotta see this, dog. I have an awful track record for predicting my future, but today I am desperate. Uh, it's too freaking cold. So here's the mission. I'm gonna get through the border, out of the snow, into the bottom of America where it's legally required that it be warm. And I'm gonna do it all on a shoestring budget with a van that works most of the time. Yeah, I'm sure it'll go great. I've been surviving exclusively off of Slim Jims. We are going to engage in the age-old tradition of stealing Wi-Fi. <laughs> so it seems like the message is, you may or may not be allowed to be here. Careful. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so suspicious of this. Here, they're not gonna call the cops. They'll just shoot you. So that's nicer in a way. But all of that is yet to come. First, we have to get out of Canada. So you know what I like to remind myself of on the cold mornings? is that you only have to put pants on once, and then they're on for the rest of the day. I put my pants on, got my passport, I was flying, soaring, ready to go to the border, and then immediately, something went wrong. Check engine light came on. You're gonna notice a pattern in these videos pretty quickly. Oh, come on, Things go wrong all the time. But don't worry, I do have a solution for this. See, because my van breaks down all the time, I have my own ODB reader, which is what reads the codes for your vehicle and tells you what's going wrong with it. So I just plug it in and I press that little erase button because ignorance is bliss and I can't afford another breakdown. So, solve that. Now onto the border. Same thing every time. It's just telling me the van's inefficient. Yeah, I know it's inefficient. It's a 90 cent. I'm about to cross into America. That is, if they will let me in. They let me in. They let me in. That's right. Ooh. They let your boy in, which means the mission is a go. We can head down to the south of America and not die from the cold. By the way, I'm sorry about all the narration up front. Honestly, I didn't know that I was going to be making this video, and so I didn't really record a lot to camera. I do later. You're power. All of these were raised in a cage guaranteed. Trust me, the video gets better. It just, it starts a little rough. But now I'm in America. So I skin a paperclip like a pig, get my SIM card out, swap in my new SIM card, which did you know this is actually an old SIM card that I have unlimited free data? No service. Ah, I think I finally lost my unlimited data. What a bummer. That sucks. Wait a second, maybe not. I might, I might still have it. That's a whole other story that I'm not gonna tell until the exploit stops working. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking my free data. And I'm on the road. Everything's good. Everything's good. Nothing can stop me now. And I uh, pretty much immediately needed to stop for gas. Unsurprising. How long do you think you could last in America on just $500? How about $600? How about $657? Does that seem like an incredibly odd number? Well, it is an incredibly odd number, but it's also the exact amount that I have. This is $657. You might be wondering why I have $657 in cash, and the answer is simple. It's all that I have left from my previous busking trips to New York City and elsewhere in America. And now I'm back in America, and I only like to pay for things in cash, so we're gonna see how long exactly I can last on just $657. And we're gonna start by putting $70 worth of ones on a cash till and getting gas. To be honest with you, I'm assuming that most of the money is gonna be spent on gas. I'd like to just give a formal apology to the teller I'm about to give this amount to. They always think I'm a stripper when I do this, and I don't correct them. So I got the gas, pumped the gas, said, Tony, you better be thankful for this, and then we hit the road. Actually, first I made a sandwich. Oh, oh I'm so suspicious of this. It's all right. Okay, I just was about to drive away and they ran out and they're like, you gave us one extra. And I was like, are you kidding me? 
That's, that's yours. I'm, I'm so sorry for doing what I did to you. The lady at the till, by the way, was so nice. I walked up, I was like, yeah, I'm so sorry. I have 71s. And she was like, don't even worry about it, honey. I got you. I was like, we call it 65 and 5 and 2. She's like, don't even worry about it, honey. I got you. So I hit the road, Jack. And I kept on driving for like only an hour more. And then I was like, I don't want to drive at night. I can't even see where I am. And I have no idea where I'm going. I was literally just driving on a highway that said south. And I was like, all right, I'm hitting south, I guess. Turned out okay, though. So I pulled over to the first rest stop I could find, and then I slept, and it was freaking cold. Sometimes I wonder why, why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through this? Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's why. This morning it was freezing cold and I turned on the heater. After an hour of the heater being on, I just gave up and went, all right, we're gonna be cold. All right, let's go. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. I don't have any service here, so I'm literally just gonna go down the road. That direction is south, is all I know. The sun rose there. That direction is south. Yeah, east, south, northwest, yeah. I'm an orienteer. So I hit the road and I said, Jay, this is the last day that you hang out in a cold place. You're hitting it and you're going all the way to Warmville today. And then I immediately got distracted by a sign that said, ooh, pretty thing over here. And I turned off the highway and I checked out some mountains. And I went, I am not making it to Warmville today, am I? I pulled into the lot, used the public toilet. Big shout out to public toilets on highway access points. You are my lifesaver. I watched the mountains. I wrote for several hours. And then I watched this dude try and get this dog back into his car for a solid 15, 20 minutes. He only called the dog Meathead. So I assume that's the dog's official name. And I'm pretty happy about that. Anyways, then obviously I hit the road again. <laughs> I also continued to get distracted by every possible roadside pull-off that you possibly could because they all looked incredibly pretty. This is what life's about. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going to apologize for stopping. I... <laughs> all right, I ran out of gas again. I'm only going to spend $40 at this gas station because the gas is more expensive, which is fair because I'm in the middle of nowhere, but I'm hoping that it means I can take this gas and then get somewhere where it's a little bit cheaper. <laughs> And we're back on the road. Nothing can stop me now. I'm making it to Warmville and no one is getting in my way. I immediately stopped to check out a cool old house and then for gas again. All right, it's not even that much later and we're spending more money on gas. Now look, I know it seems like I'm spending all the money right, 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 up, right up front and I am. But that's just, just to make it more exciting when we still last for six months off of this money when I've already spent half of it out with me half of it on gas it ain't looking great i also gotta get groceries later today because i have a really weird collection of food right now and i need something that is actual nutrition but this place has a cash discount see that's what i'm talking about so uh, i mean i'm getting the cash discount if you pay cash you get more gas we're gonna go out again probably another 70 dollars perfect i'll put in 70 and if i get any money back I'll let you know. All right. I overshot it a little bit. 14, you Thank, Thank you. you very much. Appreciate you. You have a wonderful day. Oh, oh I should. <laughs> All right, you have a good one. You too. Would you believe we got cash back? That's right. In girl math, we're up $14. Remember the stack we had yesterday? This is all that's left of it. And that is because I used all the ones Oh. It's also because I didn't take the entire stack out of the bag. Still looks much smaller. We just gotta get out. We just gotta get out of the snow. And then the money spending will stop, I swear. I hope. I dream. Okay, I rounded one corner and all of a sudden it's dry. This was all snow like Man, three seconds ago. Wow. This is insane. It took all of 10 oh, minutes yeah, yeah, okay. to go from full snow to like none. 
That 100% did not last, by the way. Don't get your hopes up too high. We are still in the cold, but I found a spot that had minimal snow, and I decided it was time to pull over for the night. If you're wondering how I find spots, by the way, it's pretty simple. I drive until I see somewhere I'm like, I bet you the cops won't get called on me if I park there. In this example, it was just a fish refuge where you could go and fish, and I actually even Googled what the laws was, and there didn't say anything about don't be a hobo there. It's still super cold, but... At least we made it out the snow. Again, I was wrong about that. We hit snow later. Don't get your hopes up like I did. I was, it's still really cold. I'm done being cold. I know I've been trying to go somewhere warmer for a while, but I think it's time we make that happen. It's brand new frigid morning. All of my windows are frosted over. That's okay. I survived. And now I have to decide where I'm going today. And the goal is south, which has been the goal for the past like three, four days. But I keep, I keep staying where it's cold because I, it's warm in the middle of the day. And I'm like, oh, it's, but it's pretty here. I can just hang out. And then it gets cold. The sun goes down and it gets cold, cold. And I'm like, oh, this is a bad decision. I'm going to try and go somewhere proper warm some nevada nevada is legally all warm right like you're not allowed to call it nevada if it's not warm even in the winter that's have i done any research on that no so guess what i did that's right i hit the road you see, you see me like that that's my question there's no way i can hold that steady and say it with me now i immediately got distracted and stopped in this case it was because there was a cow car how can you not stop for a cow car this, I repeat, is what life's about. I also at this point want to start ranking and reviewing all the random small towns I go through over time. And this one is the first Shushon, Shushan. I don't know how to say it, but it's got a cow car, so that bumps it up the rankings immediately. However, its theater was closed because it needed digital equipment, which is kind of devastating. So I'm gonna maybe dock it. I don't know, that might be an at a point, because that's just, that's a legit town. They don't, they've never heard of technology here. <laughs> Anyways, I liked it. I'm gonna give it a, a solid 7 out of 10. We gotta give room to grow, you know? So we're starting with 7 out of 10, and I like this town. That's the benchmark. <laughs> All right, it finally happened. I'm so proud of myself. I made it to a grocery store, and I thought to myself, oh, I should stop for groceries and not live on Slim Jims alone. Gotta check there's no one around to look at all my money. All right, it is day three in America, and after spending all, counted all of my money on gas, I am now gonna spend a fair portion of it on groceries. But I'm gonna try and limit that to just $25. I'm gonna make that $25 last for the next three weeks. Wish me luck. What's the bet? Are we going over or under $25 for three weeks worth of groceries? Let's find out. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I walked in, realized they were an all organic store, and walked right out. Look, buying organic is great, just not when you're trying to do it for under $25. I need them cage fed eggs, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cruising through strip mall blocks until I find a grocery store. I really thought one of these would be a grocery store, but so far it's all like TJ Maxx. Is TJ Maxx a grocery store? That sounds like a clothing store to me. The Americans are gonna be like, what? You don't know that TJ Maxx is the best pierogi slingers in the whole world? No, I don't know. I don't know your, I don't know your stuff, okay? I, I gotta say though, that's, that's pretty cool. So I'm at the Walmart now because of course I'm at the Walmart, all right? Poor people don't get to be ethical the same way you do, so I don't wanna hear any guff about it. Now, do Walmart vegetables tend to be rotten and disgusting? Yes. Are they also cheap? Yes. And do canned beans tend to rot? No. Do you see where I'm going with this? All right, it's game show time. How much do you think Blue Jay Walker spent for what he claims will be three weeks worth of groceries? The over under is $25. I show you what he bought, you place your bet, and if you lose, you legally have to subscribe. I'm back. Also, this bag has seen better days. Coming in hot, we got navy beans. You're gonna sense a theme really quick. 18, count them, 18 eggs, that's Pure egg power. All of these were raised in a cage, guaranteed. Long grain, enriched rice. I'm glad it's enriched because the chicken eggs sure aren't. We got, what? Oh, chickpea, garbanzos. One singular cucumber. Look at this big boy. Green beans. That was a steal. Now this is something called Imperial 
27% vegetable oil spray. I got it while looking for margarine. This was the cheapest thing I could find in the butter section, and I nothing on it even said margarine. It just said 27% vegetable oil spread, which is not a high percentage. That's like, what's the rest of it? I don't know, but does it look like margarine? We're gonna find out together. It does, I made the right choice. I didn't know, I didn't know. We got a bunch of green bananas so that they'll last longer. And then all of a sudden I'll look and they'll be brown. We got pork and beans in tomato sauce because I figured we might want to spice up the flavor one of these nights. Some milk, finally. Couple carrots. Place your final bets, how much do you think all of this is? That's right, it is $21. Honestly, not bad. You might look at it and go, that's not a lot of nutrition, and you'd be right. And that's just the world we live in. <laughs> oh, 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 and I almost forgot, as a treat, I got myself nothing. I got myself nothing for a treat, because that's not how you live on $25 for three weeks. You don't get treats, okay? I d how do I gotta spell this out? You don't. You get beans and rice, no treats. All right, and now after a very successful shopping trip, if I do say so myself, we are going to engage in the age old tradition of stealing Wi-Fi. Cause I have a YouTube video to upload and no way to upload it unless I steal Wi-Fi. Cause I sure am not paying for my own Wi-Fi setup. I live in a van and also I refuse to buy Starlink. One, because money. Two, because Elon. I'm just not about it. I think we get that. We're on the same page here. Listen, I'm only gonna say this once, but if you're gonna be homeless, you gotta learn to utilize public services, okay? There's free libraries and they have water, electricity, a Wi-Fi, comfort. It's, it's the best ever. Support your local library. I then spent several hours editing and sitting in a library, uploading YouTube videos. I didn't record it. I promise nothing interesting happened. You know what a library looks like. And then I drove for hours, which I it should be assumed by now. We're in Nevada, baby! It's gotta be warm in Nevada, right? I don't care that there's still snow on the ground. It's warm. It's warm. So I'm in the Nevada desert now. It's cold. I was just driving, so that's why I'm not wearing Jacket, but I keep passing these things that look like free BLM Bureau of Land Management signs that are like, hey, you can you can be here. I don't know how it works around here, but I keep seeing signs and I'm feeling like I could probably just roll in. So I just saw one a little ways back because they're so small. The entrances and you're on the highway going fast. There's no warning at all about them. So I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to catch that one. We're going to see. If you've never heard of BLM land, no, it is not the protest movement. All you need to know is that it's government land that you're allowed to use. Sometimes. I don't know what these mean or how this works. This, see, but the sign makes me feel like it's not free use. Let's see what this says. Attention. You're entering the Wine Comp Gamble Ranch, Inc. This ranch has both private deeded property and BLM lands that are unmarked in most locations. Fenced areas should be avoided. <laughs> so it seems like the message is... You may or may not be allowed to be here. Careful. <laughs> well, the sun is getting pretty close to the mountains. So, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Apparently, apparently there's an emigration trail. Honestly, I don't need anyone specific. I just need a pull off that I feel like I'm not gonna get capped for. I guess we're gonna find out. All right, well, there's the cows. Hello, cows. How y'all doing? Definitely someone's house. And over there is a bunch of buildings, which is also something I want to avoid. So I might have to go further than I wanted to. All right, we're coming to the crossroads. Let's play a game called, that looks more official. That looks nice. There's, a, there's an information sign up there. Let's drive up there, see that information sign. And then I think probably reverse to this road and just kind of park, because I think that'll take me real nice. And all of the information on the sign has been ripped off. Thank you, Nevada. Very informative, thank you. So useless. <laughs> Great sign, guys. This way now. Woo! Oh, sun's going down. My gas isn't super high. Let's just find a spot. See, here's where the road starts getting worse, worse. Okay, maybe I've got a spot. Let's, oh, it's beautiful. You gotta see this, Doc. Check that out. Stepped directly into Kapu. I can be seen by the ranchers, technically. My general rule of thumb is don't be seen. But it's also just from years of paranoia as a result of 
camping in cities when the cops get called on you. Here, they're not going to call the cops, they'll just shoot you. So that's nicer in a way, it's forward. <laughs> well, I didn't make it far enough and it's going to be another frigid cold night. And that's too bad. But frankly, you only get these views when you stop at them. So, I'm going to live through another cold night and I'm going to enjoy this out my window. It's trade-off. <laughs> I'm going to hate myself for it at 3 a.m. when I wake up because it's too cold. But... All right, that's the video. Come back next time to see me not die from the cold. Hopefully, like and subscribe.